People ask why Nginx clients do so well. I think it's our drive and courage to push the envelope of marketing with innovation. Let's find out more. <sighs> I know, I know, but you're missing the point. During the whole take, the entire take, my fly was undone and I didn't even notice. In fact, no one else did either. Hmm. Anyway, what we need are more zombie videos to keep everybody on their toes and everybody loves zombie videos. In fact, it's so hot in the studio, I'm beginning to smell like a zombie. If you are getting cranky, oh, help me, I'm stuck in this cheesy video. Live? Jim Ellis, back again with more great stuff to talk about from our YouTube digital marketing training channel. Today, we continue our Win Online Core training series and talk about SEO, better known as search engine optimization. And it's no secret as to how valuable prospects find your business online. So throughout the video today, we'll be inserting lessons and tips to help you see results in the real world of SEO, small to medium business marketing. And as always, in the description below, you'll find a list of time windows. So you can skip around the video every time you get bored or offended. Now, let's talk about your business seeing success today. A year from now, leaving the competition in the dust. And five years from now, still going strong as we win online together. Roll the intro. Win online with Nginx. Oh my God, did you see that corny stuff? And knock out the competition. SEO. So what is SEO anyway? We all know that it stands for search engine optimization. But a better description is that SEO is how people Users interact with search engines to find what they're looking for, like auto parts, on the internet. And how your website is optimized so that search engines know you have auto parts. Now keep in mind when we talk about search engines, we're referring to Google only. Bing, the other guys, forget about it. Google is the only game in town. So how do we help those people searching for auto parts find your website click on it and buy brake pads. Take care of the basics first. With step one, organizing and optimizing your website so that Google actually understands what it's about. Therefore, finding it relevant, credible, and trustable. And as a result, you'll see your search engine ranking slowly rise and more and more people searching for brake pads will click on your website into the competition. And every time they click on your website, it's going to cost you nothing, zero. It's free. It's organic. With the only drawback, it's going to take six months, a year, maybe two years for you to start seeing enough clicks to equal the kind of revenue your business needs to sustain. Which is why in later videos, we go over pay-per-click advertising and how Google AdWords can help bridge that revenue gap while you're building a solid foundation in organic and SEO rankings. But that's later. Right now, our focus is on learning more about organic rankings. Let's watch this video for more. Now let's lay down a fast start blueprint to help your small to medium business succeed and rise above the competition in online organic search engine results. And let's not get bogged down or sidetracked with website design or HTML editing or any technical stuff. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, there's a lot of YouTube videos on it. But in today's age, it's just not necessary. In fact, if you have the right tools and the right digital marketing agency like us, you'll be empowered with the ability to go in and edit your content 24 seven, as easy as writing a memo in Microsoft Word. No technical skills required. So let's focus on what's important and together build the foundation that every small to medium business needs to succeed on the internet. And that's a foundation rooted in great content and user experience. And when I say user experience, I'm referring to just that. What does the user experience when they land on your website? 
Do they have to wait for it to load? People don't like to wait. Once it loads, they know what it's about. Is it instantly clear you have auto parts? And if they're searching for headlights, can they easily navigate through your website, find the headlights in the description, and buy them? And does it return value? In other words, do you have tips on how to install brake pads or a tool to help them match up the right headlight to their automobile? All these things are very important because the foundation of great digital marketing is great content and user experience. In fact, it really doesn't matter how a user finds your website, whether it's pay-per-click advertising organically or whatever, once they land on it, you better have great content and a user experience. Because if your website sucks, they're going to bounce and go somewhere else. Now, there are two primary ways to help prospects find your website organically. There's Google My Business and Google Organic Search Engine Results. Google My Business is a directory, a list of like businesses like auto parts stores that are listed when you do a search for auto parts. It's easy to add your business to the directory. It costs you nothing. It costs you nothing when they click on your directory listing. And if you have great content and user experience, over time, six months, a year, two years, your business will slowly rise above the other businesses in that directory and you'll start to see some action. You start to see some clicks and some revenue. Then there's Google Organic Search Engine Results. And just like Google My Business, it costs you nothing when somebody clicks on your website. And if you keep up great content and a user experience over about six months, a year, two years, your business will rise high enough in the rankings so that more and more people will click on it to the competition and you'll start to see the revenue your business needs, which leads us to pay-per-click advertising. Pay-per-click advertising is a faster way to get results. It'll cost you every time somebody clicks on your ad, whether they become a customer or not, it's still cost. However, it can deliver results fast, like with Google Ads. With Google Ads, you can see instant revenue, instant customers, instant results, and make a lot of money. Even though 95% of small to medium businesses don't make money because they don't know what they're doing. That's why we have a great video on this and once you've completed it, you'll know what you're doing and you'll be in a position to make a lot of money. Let's dive into pay-per-click a little bit more, also known as PPC. The reality of using SEO to improve your organic rankings and therefore produce cost-free clicks on your business through normal organic results or even Google My Business is that it takes time, months to years, to rank enough for your business to get the results it needs. This is where pay-per-click or PPC comes in. Specifically, our focus in this little training module, Google Ads, is that Google Ads can change the playing field by allowing you to outbid competition for keywords that matter to your business, such as brake pads or local quality auto parts, etc. You might even pay $10 per click on buy rate pads, key phrase, or long tail keyword as we call it. But if your website is optimized for a great user experience, you'll see enough of those clicks converting to customers to make a profit. There are several key factors to success in Google Ads, which by the way, have a very high failure rate with small to medium businesses because they're getting way over their head and they don't know what they're doing and they wind up losing money. But in reality, is it's real easy to start a Google ad. I can train my cat to do it. The problem is my cat doesn't understand all the other factors that will allow you to make a profit. The factors are, number one, a great landing page. And that's a big part of the user experience. The first page the user sees when they click on your website. In the case of Google Ads, you might have multiple landing pages. For example, they do a search for brake pads. It goes to a brake pad landing page. Headlights, the headlight landing page. This will convert more prospects into customers when it's specialized like that. Let's watch this quick video on how you format a landing page as far as how you lay it out and just a little bit more about it with Olivia. It's pretty good. Hi, this is Olivia, and welcome to another NGINX EduBit video. On this session, I will go over advanced landing page tips. Number one, the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds is a popular photography principle that can also be applied to web design. With the rule of thirds, you're supposed to visually divide an image or website page into thirds, both vertically and horizontally. This gives you nine equal squares. The four middle intersections are key points of interest. By placing objects at these points, it increases the impact of the image or design. 
In terms of web design, you can place the page's most important elements at these intersections to get people focused on them, boosting your conversions. For example, the illustrated landing pages has the most important elements, the We Care and the Get Estimate button between the two left intersections. Notice how the navigation bar is not anywhere near the intersections. This helps keep the visitors focused on the main call to action on the page versus losing interest to navigate somewhere else. This is a very important rule to follow if you want to convert visitors into customers. Always remember that times are changing. Cool websites that connect with your market are no longer the competitive edge. They're the meat and potatoes and as fundamentally core to your business as having a phone. The odds are, if you don't already have a solid website, you can't afford to have us do one because you are out of business or heading there. Tail quality keywords. Keywords that attract buyers but don't wind up costing a fortune to bid on are very important. Long tail keywords are great because they can narrow down your target audience. For example, people searching for local brake pads will type in buy local brake pads. And they click on your website, they're more likely to buy from you because you're local and you meet that criteria versus just searching for brake pads. Number three, add content. How your ad is worded will determine what percent of people click on it and it also influence how many people waste clicks on your website and cost you money. Like um, you might get people clicking on your ad for toilet seats. They're looking for toilet seats, but you're selling auto parts. If your ad isn't worded right, you might get toilet seat buyers wasting your money. Because every time they click on your website or your ad, they cost you money, 10, 15, 20 dollars, for example, or more. Number four, Google quality score. Google calculates the quality of your keywords based on how well they match your website, the user experience and how your website brings to that keyword or delivers what that keyword is looking for, like brake pads, headlights, etc. Other factors of the Google quality score are loading speed and how your ad content matches your website by what you're selling. How well does it match your website? For example, if Google has any doubt you're an auto parts store, your quality score might go down. Also, your Google quality score will influence the cost per click. For example, if you have a low quality score, it might cost you $15 every time as many clicks on your ad. If you have a high quality score, it might cost you $10. It can make a big difference. At Nginx, we can help you manage, track, and convert prospects into customers with Google Ads and beat the competition. Also, we're releasing more and more training videos on Google Ads so you can learn what we know and apply it yourself over time. Keep in mind, while Google Ads can make you a lot of money, it can also lose you a lot of money. It's not a toy, and it's not something my cat can actually manage. There's a lot to learn, and what I just went over, the very basics. So before you jump into Google Ads, learn more, or contract us out. Other forms of pay-per-click advertising include YouTube, video advertising, which is more advanced, it takes a little longer to make money with it, but it's growing in popularity and importance every day. So once you've mastered the basics, it's a great way to expand your marketing reach. And finally, there's Google Display Ads, Facebook Ads. These are brand awareness pay-per-click ads. It takes about a year to see a return on investment versus a month with Google Ads. I don't recommend these um, at all right now, not until you've mastered the basics and all other forms of bringing in prospects to your website like Google Ads or Google My Business. Now, let's drill down deeper so we can help prospects find your website no matter what you're selling. I'm gonna turn this over to some great explainer videos that go into more detail and are more structured. Let's go. Now, if your website isn't on the first page of Google, whether organically, semi-organically, like Google My Business, then you probably won't make it. Even if you're advertising with Google Ads, you're in trouble. That's why we're gonna review the SEO core best practices to win online. Whether you're new or have been on the internet for years, you need to follow these best practices that can deliver success today and build a better future for your business. These are the key SEO best practices to win online. Now let's go through the most important practices one by one. 
you want to make sure Google understands what your website is about and the user understands what your website is about. They go to your website, it loads up, and instantly know that you're selling auto parts. And here's a key. You also need to define your intent. It's called user intent. For example, the website loads and there's auto parts for sale. That means you're selling auto parts. Your website is transactional, which means selling. Now, if it's informational, which is another user intent, then it talks about brake pads. It talks about the history of brake pads, maybe, or how they're made, or stuff like that, how to install them, of course, and other tips and tricks. And that's all it does. It doesn't try to sell anything. If it's commercial, it's going to list out brake pads and rate them, kind of like Consumer Reports. And if it's navigational, it'll help you find more sites that have brake pads. The next one is writing a title tag and meta description that hooks the user. In English, you need to find what your website is about page by page. A description for every page needs to be set in the meta information. Meta information isn't seen by the user that lands on your website, but it's seen by Google. And uh, it's very easy to do that. There's instructions all over the place on how to do that. And if you need help, we have some videos on that too. So the description just tells Google that this page is headlights, this page is brake pads, this page is contact us, this page is about us. This helps Google understand what your website is about page by page and improves your rankings. Then there's title tags. Title tags are just a way of organizing titles. Typically, description is about 45 to 70 characters. Title tags are about maybe 20. Title tags are going to say something like buy auto parts, automobile parts for sale, etc. And they reflect the user intent you're targeting. It's a very short, clear description. Now, a little more about meta descriptions. Meta descriptions aren't seen by the user on your website, but when you do a search for a website with auto parts, Google usually picks up the meta description if it's ranking and list it on the Google search results. So you do a search, you'll see a title tag that Google picks up on and a meta description. That's usually where Google gets its information. Speaking of tags, tag all media. Most websites or a lot of websites don't tag their videos and images, which is a mistake because what happens if that video or image doesn't show? There's nothing there, it's a blank spot. But if you have a tag that describes what that image is, like black, graphite, brake pads, or whatever, it will appear in that spot that's missing. So you at least salvage something. And the other thing is Google understands what the image is about and it adds value, at least to Google, and your rankings. Another key is speed or fast load times. That's your only option. You don't have other options. Your website needs to load fast, especially on a phone. People aren't going to wait around for your website to load. And for every second people have to wait, you lose more prospects. They go somewhere else. And even if they stick around, they won't have the confidence to scroll around your website and buy things because it's just so slow. Next is user experience. Now, user experience is pretty much everything we've been talking about. But to define it more, Google keeps a close eye on how users engage with your pages. As such, user experience is one of the key factors in improving your search engine rankings. Speed plays a vital role, readability, and how clear your website is. Do you use subheadings to make it easier for them to go through your text, break things down? Is your content visually appealing? Do you have videos or images that illustrate what you're talking about? Do you have intrusive pop-ups that annoy the user? Do uh, you have enough white space? Or is everything crunched together? And is your site mobile friendly? always be creating content that has value. Don't worry about repeating keywords over and over in your content, as Google is now more intelligent about understanding what your content is about. Like a Hemingway novel, it expects you to write about the experience in the product versus repeating words like buy auto parts every other paragraph. In a Hemingway novel, you don't read something like Billy was cold. Instead, it's Billy walked outside, shivered, and zipped his coat up tighter. Google wants you to write that way. Good writing counts here. And for God's sake, don't hire another company to write your content for you. Just don't. This is something you should have control of 100% and should come from you or one of your partners or employees. Also add value. Have a tip section, blog section to give back valuable advice to car buyers. There's a lot more to putting together great SEO including Google My Business listings which we'll cover soon. But the core best practices will determine the future of your business. So get started applying them in the real world to your business type. And then number eight, match the domain name to your business or consider changing your name. Uh, this is a maybe a topic of itself sometime, but if your business matches a domain name, it's gold. So if you have Hair Salon Inc. and you have a domain called Hair Salon Inc., that's great. But if your domain is Hair Salon Inc. Michigan, that's not gold because your name isn't Hair Salon Inc. Michigan. It's hard to find a domain that matches your name. In reality, you'll probably have to change your name to sync it with a domain that matches it. And if your name isn't established in your area, it's well worth it.
to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you need further support, give us a call or go on our website 24-7 from IT management, website design, digital marketing, cybersecurity, application development. We've been around since 1991. Now, 